I love this moment. I stand in front of a fresh white canvas with a brush in my hand. A door begins to open on a thousand memories. Give me a kiss to build a dream on, on my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. I feel the desire to reimagine memory and art. Sweetheart, I ask no more than this, a kiss to build a dream on. I return to the winding road of my Baltimore childhood. Images of distant memories flicker through the window glass. Feelings about those days, those times flood back. Sometimes these images can overwhelm other memories. And I wonder how much they shape how I invent or erase the past. As I come to my own house, I long to cross that transparent threshold of memory. Blow me a kiss from across the room. I want to return to them now. To return to a time of aunts in satin dresses and all their graciousness and their decorum. Little things mean a lot. To the smell of Havana cigars and the sound of careless laughter. Mother leaning down to kiss mother. Birthday parties and tag. And for a moment, we are together on the earth again, as I would have it be, as my memory would paint it. And I am light as a dove as I bring them back to earth. And time stops here. And here is where time begins. Hold me, hold me. Dancing at 16 to this, all of us dreaming, dreaming of our future, all of us dreaming of our marriage boy, we move through an unmoving present, not knowing that we are motionless, uninvented, isolated, and undreamed. We are tangled up in the roots and in the world of our time. These puzzle pieces of history and feeling become transformed on the canvas. Experience dreamed as color. I like the super string idea of memory. Each opening into another, an endless blossoming of images, shared intimacies on autumn afternoons. Men, vertical and shy. A child escaping into Claire de Lune. Then something breaks. Life's distresses and uncertainties distort my sense of time. Memories change shape, turbulence, dislocation, the cracking of the sky, anxieties and shadows that cannot be contained. They need to escape their own gravity. Then, science saves me from my feelings. Painted geometry flings into space. Particles of light billow into brilliant red laughter, into ancient laughter, into her laughter. Sometimes I feel as if the entire universe was born out of the music of laughter. When you take me in your arms and drive me slowly out of my mind. Memory takes me to create, to paint objects remembered, half remembered, until I realize that painting may not be enough. Memory is another country, a land of dreamy summer afternoons. Father is still alive, weightless. He seems to walk through a wall of time. 
How do you connect so many disparate dreams, passions, relationships, complexities of one's life? There has always been the wish to merge everything, like harmonizing Earth with the stars. Sculpture fuses memories, myths, feelings. Molded with molten metal, forged and fired, from models to castings to bronze. Reassembled artifacts of those soft summer days. Cameras. Telephones. Sculpture becomes a new pathway of remembrance. Each moment of creation, a future for memory. I already sense walking down that boardwalk with my brothers that my life will be different. The half-remembered memories become my maps. Maps that are abbreviations of a thousand fugitive shadows. Maps that shimmer with countless particles of our light. The night we met, I knew I needed you so. I like the feel of memory. with soft summer sunlight that outlines all that was and all that was meant to be. are windows on breathless evenings, flickering dreams and desires. Each circle is a point of time that carries remembrance from dark to light. From a distance, perfect circles show imperfect truth as we get closer. Each circle reflects a yearning for what I cannot reach. strings vibrate with enchanted harmonies. Images dance until there is nothing left but the embrace of creation and the transparency of memory, the transparency of future. I saw them standing on the other side of the room. And they look back at me. And you look back at me. I love this moment. 